Good morning hammer campers. Hopefully you've seen my last video which was demonstrating the DD travel hammock set up as a hammock and as a bivy. Well, the people from DD hammocks have seen it and they liked it enough to put it on their website. They also liked it enough to send me something very special. Inside here is the new 2013 model from DD hammocks. Now, I hear that it's uh, modular and you can you can take and leave different parts of it as you wish and also that they've improved the implementation of the bug net so I'm quite excited to see what's going to happen this they've been working on in secret and nobody's seen it yet I haven't seen it yet, I haven't even opened it but first I have to get into the parcel okay stage one complete I've managed to get the parcel open and inside is this on the front it says DD Jungle Hammock Modular System and it comes in this nice stuff sack with a handle and with tensioner cords so you can keep everything nice and tight it's pretty light and apparently in here you've got everything um, you have the waterproof layer the hammock, the bug net, whoopee slings tree huggers and I think that's it I'm going to find out anyways, I'm going to open it, right now I'm going to open it, I'm going to see what's in here. Now I'm stealth camping today in a fairly urban area, I've got a nice copse of uh, trees around me but directly to my right there's a dual carriageway and then behind you there's a petrol station and a hotel so I apologise for the noise but I just wanted to get out here and get this set up. So let's see, what's in here? <clears throat> These are the poles for the bug nets. Don't know if you can see from there, but they have a curve. I believe they're gonna form an arch, which I like the sound of. Here we go. All very neatly packaged. Yep, there you go. You've got guy lines, carabiners, tree huggers and whoopee slings which I believe are already fitted to the ends so I'm gonna get this set up so we can see what it's like in action now I haven't finished setting up yet but I just wanted to show you a few things these um, the poles that came with it are massive the semicircular poles they I mean they fold down as you saw when I unpacked it into quite a small section but once up, let me just get around here. I mean, that is a massive, massive arch which is going to provide you with loads of room inside that hammock. I did think that it would be difficult to thread them through the tabs, but it really isn't. There's absolutely no difficulty at all. Another good thing is as well as the tabs for the pole you can see the, the fabric loops in the spaces in between there's one here and there's one in the middle and there'll be one on the other side somewhere so those you can use to tie off to a tree with bungee cord so if you wanted to leave the poles at home for an ultralight camp then you can do so you can still tie it up and you still get loads of space inside there. The next thing I wanted to show you, just a little personal thing that I really like, is these zips. These are big, chunky, quality looking zips. Now, they're bigger than the ones on the 2012 travel hammock that I have. I've never had a problem with those zips. Those zips have worked fine so far. But these zips here look a lot sturdier, a lot chunkier, a lot easier to grab hold of and it's probably necessary to have stronger zips because this whole mozzie net is designed to zip off so what you'll see is at this end let me just focus it zips off here and here so the whole thing comes off meaning you can leave that at home as well if you happen to be camping out in the freezing colds of winter where there's no bugs or somewhere where you don't have to worry about midges. What else? Oh yeah, 
because this net zips off there's a new system it actually doesn't come flush like it did on the old model there's this hole here and there's a drawstring so we have to draw it draw it tight closed and then tie it up in a particular manner which I'm going to practice before I show you <clears throat> okay I had to go with tying this knot on the other side and it was pretty straightforward so I'm going to attempt to demonstrate it for you now and let's hope I get it right after tying the knot it occurred to me that maybe as long as you're happy to leave the bug net in place you probably don't have to keep undoing and redoing this knot every time you set up camp you could just leave it until such time as you want to unzip the mozzie net and then obviously you're going to have to undo it so first you grab the drawstrings and pull them as tight as they possibly go then bring them around the arm steel like so and this is where I get a little bit confused <laughs> you can see that's already nice and tight but you need to tie it off and uh, Nick from DD Hammocks emailed me saying it's best to tie it off about 10 centimeters back to make sure that it's flush and there's not going to be any small holes that will keep it completely bug proof so anyways you've got it like this you're going to pass it opposite way around like this and again just make sure it's tight keep everything tight and then tie it up again see now that's nice and tight I'm just going to tie it off as I would a shoelace simple bow knot and I think I've got that right okay so what you end up with is this bow knot shoelace knot that should be pretty straightforward to untie if you ever need to and like I said I don't think you will ever need to you want to remove the mozzy net. Okay, so I've got it set up. Just want to run you through a few of the features of this new model. First off, it comes pre installed with whoopee slings and tree huggers and carabiners. As you saw when I unpacked it, all of this suspension comes in the bag so no worries there don't have to swap anything out the arch obviously the arches which I mentioned when I was halfway through set up are the for me they're the, the statement feature of this hammock and what you get here is let me just zoom in and focus the arches end off in this sort of cloth foot but there's also the grommet there and the grommet you, you can use it you can just pop it through the grommet when the, when the hammock set up as I've done here and it still works just fine so you can use either option but it's actually that grommet is there and the the bottom of the of the arch the foot of the arch is designed in such a way that when you're using this hammock as a bivy you pop the arches through the grommet on, on each foot and use them as pegs and so you don't even have to take pegs that's that's how sort of ultralight they're aiming for here another concession they've made towards versatility is the um, the waterproof bottom layer has these fabric loops on stitch triple stitched in these with these reinforced triangles. Now I'm sure these are familiar to you if you have a DD hammock or any other top these are provided so that you can actually run it as a top. You can string it up between the trees and just have it. It's the same fabric that they use for their current top so there's nothing to stop you from using it that way. So you can either have it underneath you can actually remove it entirely and, and put it over the top. Uh, if 
very similar to the sort of Eureka chrysalis design but you can also remove it entirely, use it as a tarp, use it as a, a ground sheet if you're on ground that's not too rough or stony or whatever. So really there's a lot of thought gone into this, you know, they've really gone out of their way to make sure that you can buy this as a complete system and use it however you like. What else have we got that I can show you right now? You can see there is a, a pocket organizer. There's an internal ridge line already installed with a, this pocket organizer, which is a feature on other hammocks, but is new for DD. Uh, like other people, they've gone and separated it into three different distinct pockets, which I, I guess must be popular for some people. Me, I would just prefer to unpick that and have one big pocket. And I may well do so. So that's that's it. This is the 2013 DD modular hammock, jungle hammock, set up for a nice sunny day. You'll notice this strange sort of billowing at the end of the the removable waterproof layer. It's been designed so that it fits over the top as well as underneath and they've had to make some compromises so it, it lacks that sort of elegance of, of the one that's fully stitched on at all ends. What I would like to see is a way of just tidying that up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out some way of tidying that up when you've got it on the bottom so it because it just looks like it's going to hang there and sort of gather dust and bugs and trees and rain and I, I, don't, I don't know I'm not overly keen on that. But yeah, overall, this thing looks pretty damn special. Let's take a closer look. There is one other knot to tie. I don't know if you can see, but these arches tend to fall in towards the center, which is not a massive problem. Once you're in there, there's still plenty of room. But if you just wanna give it a little bit of extra shape, a little bit of extra rigidity, there's a tab just behind here and what I thought was originally guy lines when I unpacked it is two lengths of bungee cord, elastic cord. Very simple. You just slot it through here. Pull it back and then tie it around where the arm steel joins with the whoopee sling joins the hammock. Just a real simple bow knot again so that you can undo it easily because this is not a knot that you're going to be able to leave in place once it's done. So you want something that you can undo quite simply. Now me, I'm quite lazy and I don't like knots so I'm already trying to figure out a way to have something permanently attached to here. Maybe maybe a continuous loop of bungee rope with one of those little key ring carabiners so I can just clip it as and when and I don't have to think about knots don't like knots so that's the idea for me but obviously that all that adds weight eventually the more, you, the more hardware you add the more weight you add this here very light very straightforward and it's optional you don't even have to tie it if you don't want to but you can see now the shape is much better and it honestly compared to the the, the 2012 travel hammock this thing looks massive it just looks incredible in there I'm a little bit worried that once I'm in I'm never going to be able to see out I'm not going to be able to enjoy the view because it, it's just but anyways I'll have to get in and then I'll report back to you okay welcome inside as you can see I needn't have worried about being able to see out I've got a very nice view what I really like is there's no longer any need to tie the bug net off to a top so I can have this bug net suspended above me by those arches without actually having to have the top up which means I get a great view I can see I can actually sleep and see the stars provided it's not going to rain without having to worry about even having a snakeskin top above me I've just got a clean a clean view this is allegedly the same size as the 2012 model but it, it feels much much bigger I don't know if it's something to do with the mods I made 
to make sure I could clip the gear hammock or something, but the space in here, you just feel nestled in. If it comes right up around around the side, so it's, a, it's above shoulder height, without giving you that sense of shoulder squeeze. Okay, so here's a quick look at it with the waterproof underlayer over the top. It's pretty straightforward. It It's just velcroed on at the bottom, so you just unvelcro it. And then it has these tabs on. Let me just get one loose for you, one second. It has these loops here, and you loop them over the foot of, of the arch. There you go. The last one, you have to bend the poles a little bit to make sure everything's on tight, but the, that's how it's supposed to work, so don't worry about that. The poles are quite bendy. You can still get in under there, but as you can see, you're protected from the rain once you're inside. Now, this layer is touching the bug net, uh, so I don't know how waterproof it really is and whether some of that moisture is going to transfer through or conversely whether your breathing inside is going to condense and create problems. Okay so my overall impression of DD's new modular jungle hammock for 2013. I really like it. I really love these arches. They're fantastic. They work they work to create space when you're in the hammock. They keep the bug net aloft, but they also work. I haven't had a chance to test yet, but I can see them working in bivy mode. When you, these things are gonna make it real easy to set up a nice, spacious bivy. The great thing about a modular system is everything can be ordered as spares. If something happens with any one part of this hammock, you don't have to buy an entire new hammock, you can just buy a spare part. So, I'm thinking a second one of these, so you can have one wrapped over the top not going to go miss is it my favorite thing has got to be these arches it's such a big improvement over the 2012 implementation of the bug net the old method you just have one short stick suspended above and it has a tendency to to pop out of the the fabric holes that it's in uh, which it's just annoying it's not a problem but it's annoying this this is sleek, I like it, and it, it, more than that, it creates a much nicer shape for the entire hammock. I also like that it comes with the whoopee strings, whoopee slings, pre-installed. I like that because it was a nightmare removing the stock webbing and threading through the whoopee slings. As a newbie, someone new to hammocks, I didn't enjoy that, it took me ages, whereas this, it's great. They're, they're aiming this at, at ultralight campers, obviously. That's why it's modular, so you can take as little as you need at any one time. You don't need to take anything more than what you need. So, the Wolby Slings is an obvious choice. They're light, they're very popular at the moment, uh, and they give you that easy adjustability. I also like these zips. They're big. They really are big and chunky, and they feel sturdy, but they don't feel heavy. So. I suspect there was a lot of um, research went into choosing the zips. I like the way you can take this, the waterproof bottom off and put it over the top. I like that because, say you get caught in an in a unexpected downpour. Yeah, you set up, you haven't bothered with the top because you think it's gonna be nice. Uh, and then you get an unexpected shower or downpour. It's a lot quicker to just whip this off and sling it over the top than it is to start setting up a tarp and pegging it out and all the rest of it. So I like the convenience. I like that there's already an internal ridge line installed with a pocket organizer. That was missing from all the previous models. And now it's here. Speaking of pockets though, I really like the new internal internal pockets that you access from the top. Much better. The old, the old pockets you have to access from the side. And I'm not even sure why. I mean, they hold everything. It still works. But that is just, it just makes more sense. 
I think what DD were going for with this was they wanted to increase the versatility. I, I bought the, the travel hammock because it's the most versatile hammock on the market. You can use it on the ground. It's not you don't have to look for trees. You can actually use it on the ground. With this, they want to keep that versatility. So you can still use it as a bivy, you've still got a waterproof bottom layer. But they've added more they've added more options to it. So if you are using it as a hammock and you don't want to pack a tar, you can just take this off the bottom and use it on the top. If you don't want to take these poles, you can leave them at home and use a bungee rope or a guy line to tie off to a tree or to the suspension to keep your bug net suspended. If you don't want the bug net at all, the whole thing zips right off. Do you know what I mean? I, I love this modular aspect. I like, I like freedom and choice. These are things that I value and these are things that this design provides. You can, you can literally configure it the best way to suit you. And, and it all comes in that one bag. Everything you need is in that one bag. I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed. Okay, so, with the exception of the Ridgeline Pocket Organizer, which I've got no right to complain about because there isn't one in the old hammock, so it, it's a new thing. And with the exception of this knot that needs tied at both ends every time, you know, the, just to keep the, which in fact is optional and doesn't need tied, it, it's just me, and I, it's gonna be very easy to replace with a little mini beaner. With those exceptions, all of my concerns are to do with this bottom layer. And this is purely coming from my personal needs in a hammock. The 2012 model, this bottom layer is stitched on on three sides. The Velcro is only on one side. And what that means is, well, A, it's permanently there. So you're not ever going to have to worry about getting bitten by bugs underneath because you've got you've got that extra thickness there whereas on its own on its own this layer here is, is actually very sheer and very thin it's really comfortable by the way it's smoother than it, it's just smoother and, and softer than the one in the 2012 model but it is very thin so on its own if you're not using this bottom layer there's the worry that you're gonna get bit but more important for me because it'd be very rare that I am going without this bottom layer I don't live in a hot country like some of you people um, the fact that this is velcro tabbed on all the way around means that I'm not sure how much weight it can take if I'm putting in my Xped 7 camping mat or a sleeping bag or something as insulation is it gonna hold and also this arch creates a sort of tube shape for the entire hammock and that may affect what I'm currently using as insulation. But more important than that for me, uh, when I'm, especially on a long journey, I have the camelback filled with water, and at night I like to have it, rather than have it right down in the, in the gear shelf, I like to have it in between these two layers, so, and with the tube pointing out, so I can just reach out and have a drink without having to get out of the hammock. And again, three liters of water, I'm not sure, you know, whether this Velcro is strong enough to hold it. Overall, I absolutely love this. I'm, I've just recently found out, I thought DD were just sending me this to make a video, but they've told me that I can actually keep it. <laughs> so I'm over the moon about that because this really is a fantastic hammock and I'm looking forward to making it work for me.